Hello, I recently released a new video recording tool for Half-Life. Uh, the tool is part of BXCRS and works best for capturing videos of RTA and segmented runs and videos of tests. It's very easy to use and very fast and has a few features to make watching and recording runs more convenient. In this video I'll go over installing and using the tool for video recording. So first of all you want to download the latest release here on the right. Uh, you can see there are a few versions available for Linux and for Windows. Uh, BXT compatibility is a special version that works with the original Bunny Mod XT. Uh, you probably want to get the BXT compatibility build. Now for Windows we will also need the latest version of the Bunny Mod XT injector. It's linked here in the README. Just follow the link, download this injector.exe. Uh, so you have your bxtrs.dll injector. Uh, you want to put them into a separate folder. And now we want to launch Half-Life with bxtrs. Uh, first of all, open the Half-Life folder. Uh, this is the folder with hl.exe. And you want to copy the path. Now in the bxtrs folder, uh, shift right click and open PowerShell or Command Prompt. In this window type uh, injector.exe, then quotes, paste uh, the path to the Half-Life folder with a right click, add backward slash hl.exe, close the quotes and hit enter. And Half-Life will open. You can see we have bxt commands, which means that bxtrs has loaded fine. Uh, on Linux, uh, you can use the runhl.sh script. Uh, just right click on raw, save link as. I'll save it into my downloads folder. Now I have my bxtrs here, and this is the script that I just downloaded. Uh, I will open it with the text editor first because we need to fix a path. Uh, the Steam path is usually fine. Uh, the bxtrs path, uh, I have it in the same directory as the script. You can see they are in the same folder, so I will just get rid of the unneeded uh, string here and leave uh, the path to bxtrs correct. Now I will right-click, go to properties, uh, mark the script as executable, and then I can just run it as usual from my terminal. You can see that Half-Life opens and I have bxtrs commands. So there's the bxt module list command that uh, lists all of the features that bxtrs has, including video capture. Now it's worth noting that currently on the first version the video capture only works on Steam Pipe engines, so this number must be 6153 or above, but uh, support for older engines is planned soon. Now there is one uh, final thing you need to do before recording. Uh, BXTRS uses FFmpeg for video encoding, so you need to install that. Uh, for Windows, you can grab the static build. For example, I have this linked in the README. Uh, you will download an archive, uh, open it, go to bin, and you can see ffmpeg.exe. You want to put this into the Half-Life folder, like so. So there is hl.exe and ffmpeg.exe is right by, right in the same folder. And on Linux you can just install ffmpeg from your favorite package manager. And now you are good to go. So how do you capture a video of a demo? Uh, very simple, just play demo, the demo and add bxt cap start in the end. You can see that the demo will play back reasonably fast uh, as bxtrs records it into a video. Let's uh, wait for the end of the demo. You can see that uh, it says recording stopped. Uh, bxtrs automatically stops uh, video recording when the demo is finished. And the output video is saved to the Half-Life folder. It's called output.mp4. If I open this, you can see that the video plays back at a normal speed. Um, and you can see that there is the whole run here. And the video ends as soon as the demo ends. Now let's say you have an RTA run, which has uh, several demos. I have an example here. 
uh, several demos which look like this. This is what you got with BXT Auto Record, for example. So you can play them back at once uh, with a command called BXT Play Run. And you want to give it the path to the demo, but without the trailing underscore number. So you can see I have them in the RTA folder called run uh, without the trailing underscore number. I put them into BXT play run and it will play the demos back to back. Uh, you can see the view is twitching, which is where I am saving and loading. Uh, on save loads, uh, a new demo starts and BXT play run just plays them back. Uh, back to back without having to type all of them out or without any limits on the number of demos. Uh, naturally this also works just fine with BXT cap start. So it understands to stop the video recording only after all of the demos have been played. You can see it stopped it in the very end and if we check the output video you can see once again uh, the whole thing was recorded across all of the demos and it stops only in the very end. So this is how you can uh, record videos of RTA runs extremely easily. Uh, now there are a few uh, features you can tweak uh, in the capturing uh, under BXT cap. Uh, the first one is of course FPS. This is the output video FPS. For example, you can set it to 120 if you want a high FPS output video. Uh, next, the volume. Uh, this sets the volume of the output video. So you can actually reduce uh, the game volume uh, while you are recording or you can just turn it off entirely and the output video will be unaffected because it uses this BXT cap volume instead. And last but not least, uh, sound extra. So this is a value in seconds, uh, how much extra audio will be recorded past the end of the video. So this is most useful for segmented runs, uh, where you have demos uh, with sound effects which cut off. So I have an example here, if I play the second demo and record it, you can see that the scientist starts saying his line, but then the demo stops, so the sound effect cuts off. Uh, but with sound extra set to three, ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. You can see that it recorded three extra seconds of audio past the end of the video. Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. So what you can do now is in a video editor, you can just overlay this audio over the next part of the run and get completely seamless audio. Uh, finally, there is a very convenient feature for capturing high resolution videos, which is hard upscaling. Uh, there is this BXT hard scale uh, variable. If you set it to two, for example, and then play some demo, you can see that the interface is twice as large. So this is extremely useful for recording at high resolutions, for example at 4K and above, because the HUD is uh, simply tiny there, and with BXT HUD scale you can make it larger very easily. Uh, now BXT RS has full support for recording TASIS. Uh, let me demonstrate. So to run the TASIS you need the original Bunny Mod XT. Uh, it's very simple to load. On Windows just put bunnymodxt.dll into the same folder and start it in the exact same way and uh, you will see that I have uh, BXT task commands from the original bunny mod XT as well as a BXT rest commands. They are loaded at the same time. On Linux, uh, runhl.sh script supports loading bunny mod XT. Uh, you just need to uncomment this line with BXT and once again put the correct path I have my bunny mod XT once again in the same folder, so I just put in the correct path. You can see there it is. And now I can just start the script the same way, and I have both BXT task commands and BXT OS commands. Uh, to record a video of a test, uh, you want to open your HL test. I have this test HL test prepared. And what you want to do is you want to add BXT cap start. Uh, where you want to start the video, and then you want to add BXT cap stop where you want to stop it. 
And uh, you can see that this task contains a engine restart. Uh, BXTRS handles them completely fine and record across engine restarts. Only thing to keep in mind is that if you want to record across an engine restart, you want to uh, restart first without recording, otherwise the game can sometimes hang. So now I will just run the test as usual. And it will play back and record the video of this test from its execution. And here is our engine restart. <coughs> you can see that the recording has stopped. Uh, and if we check the output video, you can see once again that it recorded it just fine with audio and at normal speed. And let's check out our engine restart. There it is. You can see it's all the same video. Uh, all recorded perfectly fine. Uh, BXTRS also supports mods, so Opposing Force, for example, or Gunman Chronicles, or AG. Uh, let me demonstrate uh, by launching OpenAG and recording a demo. Um, so you can record your AG matches. It's very convenient because the recording is very fast. Uh, works just fine. You can see a uh, recording has stopped and if I check the output video you will see that it has recorded just fine without any issues. Uh, so this concludes the uh, uh, BXTRS video recording introduction and tutorial. Uh, it's already proven useful for recording for example my office complex tests. Uh, I, I recorded it in 8K. Uh, for this kind of resolution, it's uh, very useful that the speed is uh, the speed of recording is very fast. Uh, it's also been used in uh, multiple upcoming segmented runs uh, of Half-Life mods, and uh, just it's also been just useful for playing back RTA runs uh, conveniently. Uh, if you have any questions or problems with BXTRS, uh, please ask them in the comments or in the Source Runs Discord server linked in the description. If you're interested in the technical details of how BXTRS is so uh, fast at video recording, I actually wrote a long blog post that goes into the technical details. Uh, you can also find it linked into the video description. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you find BXTRS useful.